A bitter defeat in World War I leaves Germany exhausted, hungry, and cornered. As the Kaiser and the discredited aristocracy go into exile, the German people are left with almost no government at all and gigantic obligations to repay the Allies for the damages inflicted during the war. Following the fashion of the time, the Germans create a representative government, but call for the autocratic figure of war leader Paul von Hindenburg to rule the new German Republic. He is old and incapable of holding the disparate pieces of the German state and economy together. Shaken by the world depression, frightened and made desperate by inflation that robs them of any economic certainty, the Germans are ready for a leader who promises stability, strength, and order. They find him in Adolf Hitler, a ruthless and sophisticated modern leader who knows how to use media, books, radio, and film to rule. In the bargain, the German people surrender freedoms of press, speech, and association for the fascist banners of Nazism. The Nazis build glorious, powerful industries and war-making machines. Then they use them to usurp the territories of Czechoslovakia and Austria, and ultimately take the lives of millions of European Jews and gypsies.